How do you share files in WebEx? In this brief five-minute tutorial, you're going to learn three primary ways to do that. Those are by sharing your desktop. That means if you have three applications open on your desktop, as you toggle from one to the other, what you see on your computer is exactly what everybody else is going to see on theirs. If an IM comes in or you get a note that you just received an email, they're going to see that too. The second way is to share a file. This means that you can take a PowerPoint like I did in our class and you can annotate it and do all kinds of cool things on it uh, with your team meeting. If you have an embedded video in your PowerPoint or you have a video on your computer, you also can share it this way. The third is to share a specific application. So let's say again you have three applications open on your desktop but you only want to shell share the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. When you share that spreadsheet, if an IM comes in or you get a notice that a new electronic message comes in, you'll be able to see it, but nobody else will because you've only shared the Excel meeting document. So let's take a look at how we use these in the WebEx meeting. As you know, when you open your WebEx session, you are greeted by this very familiar meeting manager. We're going to be focusing just on the left part of the meeting manager in the live demo I'm going to do with you now. So when you first log on to WebEx, the first tab that opens is the Meeting Info tab. You'll learn more about that one later. The second one that automatically opens is the Quick Start tab. And this is your gateway to join the audio conference, to in send out last minute reminders to people who may not have joined the meeting yet. And here is where you are going to share the documents for your meeting. So there are three options as I mentioned. One is by sharing your desktop. And so when you do that, uh, anytime that you are clicking on any application on your desktop, whether it is PowerPoint or an Excel document or Word, as you change it on your computer and you see it on your computer, so does everybody else. So be careful of using share application. Close any applications you don't want. The second is, skip down to the bottom one here, sharing a specific application. So if I want to share an application, there's a listing of files underneath that. So I'm going to go ahead and select that that Excel spreadsheet. And notice that it is now on, and I just got an IM in, uh, and you can't see that because I haven't shared that. I've only shared the Excel document. The third way to share files is to actually share a file. This is the one that I used in class that let us do all those really cool things together. So I'm going to go in and load those files. And what you'll see is that when you use share file, the file will be imported into a tab. And notice that there are annotation capabilities that are right here that we can use to annotate on the slide and to save for use later. And so all you'll do to go through the files is you'll just click the right arrow and away it goes. And so you're in the actual PowerPoint file. So let's just review one more time. There are three ways to share documents in meetings. One is share desktop, then share file, then share application. With Share Desktop, this is where you can have like three applications open on your desktop. What you see on your computer when you use Share Desktop is going to be seen by everybody else in the meeting. They're also going to see if any IMs come in or any emails come in and you get a notice for that. Everyone's going to see it, which can be distracting in your meeting. So you might not always want to use that. The second way is to use share file. So if you're going to be collaborating on things like brainstorming, making decisions, uh, getting the buy-in, you might want to share a file. And you can annotate directly on it, and then you can save that annotated file. You can view it outside the meeting, and you can bring it back in again. The third is to share application. This is where you would want to share just one document on your desktop. Maybe you have three or four open, but you only want people to see the one that you have elected to share, like that Excel spreadsheet. If an IM comes in or email comes in, no one's going to see it but you, because you are not sharing multiple applications. You're sharing just one. So let's see if you have caught all the main points here. So let's say you're going to share a Microsoft project as your live document during your meeting. How are you going to share it? Do you have it selected? Share application. That's exactly right. Look at the second one. You're going to toggle between Word, PowerPoint, and Excel as live documents in your WebEx meeting. Which way will you share it? 
once again, you're exactly right. It is Share My Desktop. The last one, you will annotate on a PowerPoint document and save it with all the annotations for later review and possible upload in a later WebEx meeting. And that's right, share a file. Once you learn how to operate WebEx, then take your skills to the next level. If you're delivering online presentations, online training, or online meetings, we have training that will help you make those sessions engaging, interactive, and fun. Contact us at info at distance.com or 800-690-9077. Well, now you know how to operate the basic function of WebEx, which is how to share files. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner, and this is the end of this tutorial.